The average TV commercial of 60 seconds has 120 half-second clips in it, or one-third of a second. We bombard people with sensation. That substitutes for thinking. Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of Let's Get It Light. This is the segment of my channel where I read out my favorite excerpt from the novel that I've recently read just so that you get a little inspiration to pick up that book. Today I would be reading out one paragraph from Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury, a book that in my opinion has secured the second position as the greatest dystopian novel ever written. The first obviously being George Orwell's 1984. If you are someone who gets annoyed by censorship and restrictions on human lifestyle, then you will definitely love this book. Let me quickly read out this excerpt after which I'm going to give you a one minute, no spoiler review of the book. The reason I chose this excerpt is because it shows how public authorities resort to various ways of numbing the human brain in order to achieve a no questions asked system of governance. Here it goes. If you don't want a man unhappy politically, don't give him two sides to a question to worry him. Give him one. Better yet, give him none. Let him forget there is such a thing as war. If the government is inefficient, top heavy and tax mad, better it be all those than that people worry over it. Peace, Montag. Give the people contests they win by remembering the words to more popular songs or the names of state capitals or how much corn Iowa grew last year. Cram them full of non-combustible data. Chalk them so damned full of facts they feel stuffed but absolutely brilliant with information. Then they'll feel their thinking. They'll get a sense of motion without moving and they'll be happy. Because facts of that sort don't change. Clearly, this novel depicts a society which is governed by surveillance, robotics, censorship and virtual reality, which is enforced on people in such a manner that they completely lose their ability to even think and question basic things. The story of the novel takes place in an unspecified city in a distant future, so it is a futuristic novel. In this story, the protagonist is Guy Montag, a fireman whose job is to actually burn down houses where people have been hiding books, because in this future, reading books is completely banned. This rule has been established for the very reason that books provoke doubt and thought. You would be completely baffled after reading this book as though this book was published in 1953, after reading it, you would feel like it was written yesterday as the script of the next episode of Black Mirror. So yes, I totally recommend this book. Fahrenheit 451 falls in the category of science fiction, political fiction and dystopian fiction. And yes, for those who do not know what dystopia means, it means an imagined state or a society which has a great deal of suffering. It took me about two to three days to finish this book and for target audience I'd like to say that all those adults who have an analytical and logical bent of mind who like to question their system of governance and have serious issues with censorship are really going to appreciate reading this book. I will also take the liberty of saying that anyone who can see the apparent damage caused by virtual reality would find this book a great read. So yeah, that's it for today. Do let me know if you decide to read this book and if you did, whether you liked it or not. Show some love and subscribe to my channel as I upload videos on a weekly basis and I'll be coming up with the next episode of Let's Get a Bite really soon. Till then, take care and keep reading.